Welcome to Crimson Guitars, welcome to a tutorial, I suppose. Um, I have been collecting tools for a hell of a long time. I've got a side business, thevintagetool.com, where I've started selling them in order to fund my, my habit. Um, and uh, anyway, part of that is that often a plane will come up that is wonderful, like this uh, Bedrock 607. It's a lovely old uh, number seven size bedrock plane and intensely desirable. But this one, as is often the case, has got a, uh, a broken handle uh, or the tote. And basically it needs to have a lovely swooping shape and that often gets broken off um, I need to get this plane up and running for myself, actually. Union. Very cool. Anyway, um, what I'm going to show you today is the, the repairing of this. Now, I've sold this plane uh, to a gentleman and said that I was going to be fixing it. Now, what I need to do is uh, basically take the handle off. I'm going to call it the handle. I'm going to take the handle off and glue on a new piece of rosewood. <clears throat> this matches. I'm very lucky that I have a supply of uh, Brazilian. Um, that I'm both very lucky that I have a supply of Brazilian rosewood that is um, uh, that matches well and all of that is, and is what they used um, and is also of a size that I can't use it for a guitar which actually is quite unlucky because rather, I'd, I'd much rather build a guitar with it, but hey. Anyway, so I'm just gonna go through the whole process. Take the handle off, plane this flat, flatten that glue surface. I'm gonna glue a piece of, uh, of Brazilian in place and then finalize the shape, draw, bandsaw off, sand, carve, shape, sand, sand a little bit more and then uh, do some polishing and put it back together and that's all you really need to know so stop go 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 watch a sailing video or something I don't know <laughs> click like before you go though please or something I don't know <sighs> screwdriver see repaired totes where I mean these are woodworking tools they're being used by people who know how to use wood and 
nine times out of ten when I see a repaired one of these, they have not bothered to flatten either of the, the, the sides and they whack it together and they fill it with cast, cascomite or epoxy or something and it's terrible work. I don't understand that. Uh, make sure you've got a good flat joint um, that will be nice and positive. In fact, I've got a slight rock on this, so I need to sort that out. Oh, that's where I, yeah, I knew where that was. Anyway, um, I'm going to do a little bit more work on flattening this off quickly. Uh, and then, yeah, glue it all together. Just take pride in your work, damn it. I can't tell you how weird it is holding a plain handle upside down. Yep, that's absolutely perfect. This is at an angle to, to the handle, because that's where the brake was. Now the other thing I'm going to need to do is drill out the access for the, for the brass nut and everything. But uh, we'll get to that in a bit. And I'm just using super glue because it's super. Please ignore that joke. I, I, I have a sense of humor, honest. And we have that little gap that we knew about earlier. It's minuscule. I'm just going to pack a little bit of uh, rosewood dust in there. There'll probably be a little bit more of that going in in a second as well. Okay, we're going to take a, br uh, a brunch for lunch. We're going to take a break for lunch, change some camera batteries and stuff, and uh, once I'm sure that this is nicely cured, uh, do some cutting and carving. Okay, on to band sawing. I just want to uh, make sure I've got enough of an outline there. And this is a very, 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 very small and so let's go. I feel totally aware that I'm not wearing any eye protection whatsoever and I don't need to, but I'm going to anyway. Yeah. 
We have actually opened up a little bit where the dust and glue was, which is a bit, a bit of a pity. So a little bit more work to do there. Guitar finishing oil, par excellence. This is the entire reason for doing this video is to uh, uh, promote the vintagetool.com and guitar finishing oil. Is that too much? Yeah? No, no. No? Whoa! I, I just went downstairs and asked them for a new bottle because I've, I've lost my bottle. This is so full that there's a manipsis, what's that called? Anyway, it's like, I wasn't expecting it to be quite that full. Crikey. Okay. Now, obviously this one had some sort of a film finish on it at some point. We are not trying to, I'm not restoring an antique, although this is, what, 19, 10 ish something so it's over 100 years old um, I'm trying to make this tool into a more usable tool if I was fully matching the finish then well this video would take a lot longer to film so essentially guitar fishing oil apply let it cure for a bit and then uh, we'll buff it up now while we are trying to make this into a more usable instrument, instrument of woodworking, I talk about guitars most of the time, uh, 
I do want to slightly relic it just to make the repair. I'm not trying to hide the repair, but I do want to make it just a little bit more in keeping with the rest of the handle, which is really, in fact, I'm not surprised that the, the tip broke off because this has really been absolutely, that's actually quite a good match. This, So all that sanding and prepping, you might think is sort of not worth it, but without a perfect surface to start with, we would never end up with something that looks even vaguely like it belongs. Now, if you don't have a wood that matches, uh, don't worry about that. Uh, there are uh, there are other methods. Look for something with a similar grain and uh, use that, and then stain it, perhaps. And don't try and fake. If you if you are going to do this um, for yourself, that's one thing. But to then sell it as undamaged, you have to mention repaired or well repaired. Um, if you do spot. That it has been repaired or if you repair it yourself. And whatever you do, do not mention <laughs> if you're selling a guitar that it has rosewood anywhere near it uh, and then ship it across state lines specifically in the and to the states because they don't like. They are very hot on burning and destroying old planes just because they got rosewood. Because they're narrow-minded fools who don't look at the thing and say, hey, that was made 100 years ago. Anyway, rant. I'm gonna do a whole video ranting about that topic soon, actually, come to think of it. Let me do that. Uh, so the first coat of uh, guitar finishing oil has sunk in. We've now dented the hell out of the repair. You will still see where it is, but it's going to be a little bit less obvious now. And uh, yeah, at this stage, it's just a case of uh, trying to match the, uh, the finish. This, most of what I was doing here wasn't to, uh, well, I was buffing it up. I, I was simulating years of use by, by buffing the wood directly. All right, I'm going to leave that to cure for five or 10 minutes in this heat, and uh, we'll be back in a second to buff it up. Okay, bit of oil, buff it up. And really, that's, if I was buying this, well, you can see that there's a difference in finish. Uh, I'm not trying to fake here. Um, but if I was buying that, I might not even notice, to be honest. Uh, anyway, that's not the case. Uh, let's put it together. about that hitting the top with some some older planes but yeah there we go well there we go one slightly more restored plane than it was before um, I hope this has been of use to you and uh, if you want to see more videos like this based on tools rather than guitars or anything well 
actually you're going to see them whether you want to or not so please say like these sorts of things um, I because uh, I do um, we're all using them using tools anyway so there we go uh, click like subscribe support our patreon if you uh, if you wouldn't mind and uh, check out the vintage tool.com which is my sort of side business on the side because it was supposed to be a hobby but it ended up being a little bit more than that which is just insane um, <laughs> what can you do uh, and yeah comment below see if there's anything that uh, you would like to know uh, in this sort of realm that I might be able to help you out with I am going to be doing videos on uh, the basics of using tools as well, so you know how, how to stand, how to hold the blame, uh, some common pitfalls, uh, that's something that, be, that has been asked for quite a lot, and uh, yeah, there's, there's other things. At some point in the not too distant future, one of the weekend workshop projects is going to be taking this lovely old smoother. It, uh, unnamed, it might be Matheson, it's got a Matheson um, cap iron on there, but I want to get this plane, which was a present uh, a number of years ago now actually, uh, from one of you fantastic people, and uh, I want to get this plane working so I can use this in my, uh, my home workshop. So that's something that is coming soon. Uh, in the meantime, continue being awesome. Thanks for watching, see you soon. Goodbye.